Okay, Python on hardware. Um, I thought this week we'd go over a couple things, Lady Anna. Uh, the newsletter has so much stuff, and usually we pick one thing. This week we're just going to do a smattering. So if you're someone who uses Raspberry Pi, there's an uh, there's an update. Um, it has the new Linux kernel, so that might be something. Long-term support. Yeah, that might be something that you want to do. It also has the latest update with MATLAB. Um, we try to use the newsletter for events that we know the people who read the newsletter. So KeyCon or KaiCon. The, 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 yes. the, yeah. Um, either one is fine, but uh, it'll be September 9th to 10th this year. So if you use the open source CAD tool, check it out. Um, we're probably going to sponsor or do something in some way. Uh, there's a post about CircuitPython and version control. If you want to um, use some type of version control, yeah, it's like, but you're still on the disk drive. It kind of manages the yeah. file movements for you. And then um, for folks who've been using Python with uh, a block editor like EduBlocks, Anaconda acquired EduBlocks. Big, big news in the maker world if you're into that. And then um, I, I thought I would spend a, a moment on this. This is, and then I'll go through a couple other ones. But uh, what's the best language for microcontrollers? MicroPython and CircuitPython or Arduino RC? I think in general, these type of comparisons are bad because... They are bad, Because, yeah. and I'm going to say like bad as far as it brings out the bad in people because it gets very territorial. It's like, no, see or die. Um, weird engineerism that it's like, they're yeah. happy to be the best. And it's like, yeah, you know, and, it's like that's not And some works. people will do a drive-by and just be like, Python on microcontrollers, die. Well, like so, a hammered Reno. Yeah, rare, yeah, pot pot smoker for baby language for pot smoker, um, which is what Arduino was uh, called uh, a long time ago, and I did that. I put that quote in my article, um, and the guy Arn um, didn't like that. So, because apparently at the time Arduino was it was too dumbed down for people. Well, if you think that's dumbed down, yeah, running a scripting language on my controller will like expose yeah. That. So here's what I would propose, because I do like I do. See, think, let's check on that guy. Ask what he thinks about circuit Python. <laughs> it's not good. It's too easy. You're making you know, I, I it's too easy. So um one of the things that I think that would be helpful and we can't do this because we're Adafruit is I do think it'd be neat to take a project and say okay, we wanted to have a water sensor alert our phone when there was a flood in our basement. And then from the very beginning just like Choose whatever hardware you want. Maybe everybody has to use a ESP. Everybody has to use the ESP thirty two S two because our you know all everything's supported on that. You know Arduino. You can use MicroPython, CircuitPython, and I think what would be better is how fast can you do it? How much fun can you have? How much time do you actually need to spend to do that project? Because I think that's one of the things that we should measure. Um, if, if what is better to use than something else. Not because the language is better, it's just because it's more suited. For instance, if you're going to do things where like you're getting strings of text on the internet, Python's probably a better, a better, it's probably better because it's faster because there are these, you know, batteries included libraries. So I think that might be an, a subtle change instead of which is the best language is like, what's the fastest way to get your project going? Because there's a lot of times where you want to have like, oh, I just want it to text my phone when my basement's flooding. That's it. That's all I want to do. And the best language isn't probably going to be the fastest language because best is subjective, but fastest, I think we can all agree, some of them are faster than others as far as getting the project done. Not the speed, like, oh, how many you know milliseconds, but I, how long does it take you to get the project going? Like, there's certain bits of hardware like Stemma that makes things easier. There's certain things like Python libraries that make things easier. So I think... that. I think that would be a way to go. Um, you know, another example is like, so MakeCode could be in this list because there's a lot of projects that are like, if you just want, I just want to do some swirly things with LEDs really fast for a costume. MakeCode, almost instant. Is it the best language? Who, Depending on who you ask, like, you know, there's internet jerks that are going to say, yeah, you know, you should use um, you know, machine code, you know, somewhere, whatever. I don't understand why they use Twitter if that's the best language. Anyways, so um, I think that's just you know a slight, slight different way of looking at these things. Anyways, um, you can check out the rest of the project some more. Um, I like this like, universal computer thing. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, you know, speaking of the eMate, um, 
this is this is kind of me too this is what it reminded me of i make yeah and then someone in the chat just uh did prime's drag race um i like the idea of drag race maybe we could say like like drag race would be a, a term for you you set out what the project is and then who can get the project done fastest and then you look at what they used that'd be kind of cool anyway so that's our python on hardware newsletter this week um one other little reminder um uh, happy birthday micropython turn 10. i'm known out to damien um we're gonna do a donation um we already do stuff with github sponsorship if you use micropython send them a buck or two it's what circuit python's based on we deliver this newsletter every single week in your inbox in for daily.com we don't spam you we don't do anything other than send you the email once a week 